Hello, hello, my name is Mr. Hale, and today we're going to try to find the equation of a line that passes through two given points. In case you're wondering why I have a hat on, it's because I don't have a haircut. All right, so without any further ado, let's get into our first example. We're going to try to find the equation of the line that passes through the points 4, negative 7, and negative 2, comma 11. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to put our answer in slope-intercept form. And slope intercept form looks like this y equals m times x plus b, where m is our slope and b is our y intercept. First things first, we're going to try to find our slope. And in order to find our slope, we're going to use a formula. And the formula for our slope, m. Remember, m is our slope. m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So if you're looking at it, you're wondering, like, where am I going to get the x2 and the y2 and stuff from? It comes from our two points. So we have the points 4, negative 7, and negative 2, comma, 11. Remember, all points are given in the form of x, comma, y. x, comma, y. So, it doesn't matter which one you choose as your first point, choose either one. If we take the 4 and negative 7 and make this our first x coordinate, make that x1, and our first y coordinate, y1, we can make this one our second x coordinate, x2, and our second y coordinate, y2. From here, we're going to substitute each one of these values into our equation. So, if we do that, y2, y2, we said is going to be 11. We're going to subtract from it y1. y1 is negative 7. All of this is divided by x2, which is negative 2, and x1, so minus 4. If you follow along and do the math from there, 11 minus negative 7 is a positive 18. Negative 2 minus 4 is going to be a negative 6. From there, if you do that, 18 divided by negative 6 gives us negative 3. So now, we've just found our slope. And if we take that, our equation now looks like y equals m, which is our slope, which we just found to be negative 3, x plus b. Our second step is now to try to find what is our y intercept, what is our b. So now we're in step two. Step two, we're gonna to try to find our y-intercept. And right now, we just got to the point where we got y equals negative 3 times x plus b. How are we going to try to find a y-intercept? We're going to use find a y-intercept using one of the given points. So, let's say we choose the point negative 2, comma, 11. We're going to use the point negative 2, comma, 11. Remember, all points are given us the form of x, comma, y. You're going to take that point and plug it back into the formula. So, we're using a point negative 2 comma 11. y equals 11. So, instead of writing y, we're going to write 11 equals negative 3 times x. x, when y is 11, is negative 2 plus b. From here, we're just going to do the math and solve for b to get b by itself. So, 11 equals negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6 plus b. Since it's a positive 6, I'm going to subtract it from both sides. So minus 6, minus 6, and we get that b equals a positive 5. So our final answer, our final answer looks like this. y equals negative 3x plus 5. Where our slope is negative 3, and our y-intercept is a positive 5. So the first example was a little more straightforward but it showed you the process of how to create an equation. 
But this example is not as straightforward, but it still follows the same process. So if you read along, it says three days after I bought a plant, its height was 13 inches. A week later, the plant was 27 inches tall. Write a relationship that describes the height as a function of time. All right, so what we're gonna do, it says write a relationship. In other words, create an equation. This equation from last time, we used x's and y's, so we can still do that, but we'll just say that x, we'll say that x is our time, and as you read from the problem, time is being measured in days. From there, y, we'll say y then is our height, and our height was being measured in inches. So just like last time, first thing you want to do is find your slope, and then you want to find your y-intercept. But in order to find your slope, you have to have two points. So in this case, we have to try to interpret what our two points is. If you read the first sentence, it says, three days after I bought a plant, its height was 13 inches. That right there tells you, if we said that x is our days and y is our height, three days after I bought it. So I can put three there. And then how tall was the plant? The plant was 13 inches tall, three days after I bought it. So we got one point. Our second point can come from the second part of uh, our second sentence in the equation. So from there, it says a week later, the plant was 27 inches tall. A week after the, those three days, that now gives us 10 days after I bought it. 10 days after I bought it, it was 27 inches tall. So now we have our two points and we can try to create an equation. What you need to do is to take these two points and try to find an equation that passes through these two points, following the same steps from last time, and bring that back to me tomorrow.